Hey guys, this is Tanner Gray, also known as Topsail Tanner. On today's episode, I'm going to help you navigate through the inlet. Oh, yeah. Right now, we're sitting just outside of the mainland. There's Old Point Loop back there, but behind me is South Topsail right there. We always have shifting inlets here because they're just sand. We just move the sand out and after a storm or nor'eastern or whatever we get, big surf, it actually changes again. And I've learned over the years to use the cans as somewhat knowledge, but sometimes they're high and dry. And what I mean by that is there's so much sand displaced they're over on their side. So I have to almost go out every time to go read the water again. Over my shoulder, you're gonna see the end of South Topsail. So we're going to be going out of what's called uh, New Topsail Inlet. So as you can see, guys, when we went through the inlet, we did top time-lapse footage so you can see. Hopefully this will give you uh, an idea of how I navigate it. A very easy thing that was taught to me when I was uh, really young, when you're coming back through the inlet, it's always red can stay on your right. So red right return, or red right return. So we're gonna go through the channel here that's been dredged and we're gonna get out there and hopefully we'll see what the inlet looks like. It's gonna be a little bit rough today, so I don't mind showing you. Um, I've navigated inlets, I'm a licensed captain as well. So wanna make sure that you guys are safe as can be. The one thing I can't stress enough about boats is wear your lanyard when you're running your boat. I know people don't do that. It's such a scary thing to me to know that a boat can continually go if you fall overboard or if something happens to you, you don't have anybody else that can operate the boat. The other thing is you want to be sure that if you're not aware of where you're going, slow down, stop. Like boats can touch the bottom, it's okay. It's not gonna be the end of the world. What is gonna be the end of the world? You run high and dry or run over something that takes out your lower unit, rips a hole in your fiberglass or does some major damage. Going fast is not a cool thing to me. People always ask how fast my boat goes. I don't even know how fast it really can go. But at the same time, I'm cautious about where I'm going because I don't know what else is in the water, number one. I don't know who else is also on the water or their skill level. The other thing is you wanna to learn to read the inlet. So when you're reading an inlet, you actually want to look for not breaking waves, but you want to look for some of the roughest stuff, but that's the deepest water. You have to go through it. Another thing is if you're very bow heavy, you don't want to go through an inlet with a lot of people sitting up front. Ocean waters you see behind me is turquoise as can be. So if you see a light brownish spot and you see, we call brown, brown running around, that's shallow water. You want to stay away from that stuff. Um, you know, just especially here because it's all sand, it's all hard bottom. It's not like you're going to run in and brrr, go into mud. I mean, it's going to hit and it's going to ground pretty, sound pretty hard. Know what you're doing on the water. Doesn't matter how much money you have. Doesn't matter what kind of boat you have. Doesn't make any difference. If you don't know what you're doing at the helm, it's a very scary thing for anybody that's on board. If a wave's gonna break, it's okay if a wave breaks and some of that water goes over the front, it's okay, it's perfectly fine. Just keep your bow riding high and just keep plowing through it and you'll get it out eventually. Um, but like I said, if it's not safe, just don't go out, period. every red can on my left and on the right when we came back every red can was on the right red right return like we talked about but um, we also were fortunate today that we had a incoming tide with the wind this way if we had an outgoing tide which would actually push the water against the wind it would create a wash machine i would not have gone out through the inlet today um, so be mindful of that when you're coming back in if you've had a day offshore just to take your time because you can get down in those troughs and stuff your bow into the next wave. It just is something you gotta get comfortable with on a boat, number one, but number two, just be a little bit more careful on when you're coming in back and stuff like that. So I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you, but please make sure if you're not comfortable at all, don't go, turn around, don't be try to be a hero with a boat. It's the most dangerous thing you can do. Plus you have to make sure you have the safety of the entire crew on the boat at all times. Again, guys, this is Tanner Gray, also known as Thompson Tanner, and I will catch you on the next one.